Sitting on her front porch in the early morning breeze. Sitting on her front porch, just an old friend and me. Drink a little coffee, read all the local news. Talk a little gossip every now and then. Smell that ham cooking in the kitchen. A brand new sunrise in the sky. Sitting on a front porch, minding all your business. What a way to make the day go by. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, good morning and welcome to the Front Porch as we begin our Friday edition. It's great to be with you on a Friday morning. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I'm Terry Mitchell. We finished up the show yesterday with our good friend, Reverend Ben Hayes from Davil. And guess what? We're going to start the morning show with Reverend Ben Hayes from Davil. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Good Judge. to see you again, and thanks again for being with us yesterday. Oh, it's Enjoyed great. Enjoyed our conversation. TJ told me he's a, this guy is the real deal. Well, I, I appreciate that. It was fun meeting your son. I, I hated that Kenny wasn't here, but uh, I tell you, uh, I'm so thankful for his grandson for what he's doing and uh, graduating from the Homeland Security yes, sir. Academy. What a powerful testimony that is. Uh, and he's moving to, uh, a, well, it'd be a little more than a short drive, moving to Alaska yes. uh, to, to begin his tour of duty with Homeland mm. Security. I'm looking forward to, just as you are, I'm looking forward to hearing from Kenny. Where Kenny is at the graduation, uh, was there yesterday and finishing up, and he'll be driving back home today. But I know next week Kenny will have some great uh, stories to tell about the, the graduation. Now, Ben, I don't know that he was allowed to take any photographs, but if he if he could and was allowed, I'm sure he'll have them to share with us as well. Well, I hope so, and <clears throat> I hope that um, if he wasn't allowed to, he didn't try to sneak some and get his phone stolen from well, him. So I, I got to tell you, but we'll get into the devotion in just a minute, but I got to tell you this about Kenny. Kenny was telling me yesterday after the show, he said, uh, well, we, or he's telling me actually Wednesday after the show, he said, uh, we've got to go over early. He said, we've got to go through uh, security, and they're going to do a background check on us before we can get into graduation. I said, Kenny, really? I said, uh, I spent a lot of time in government, and I said, uh, I'm just messing with Kenny, but I didn't want him to know I'd mess with him. I said, Kenny, I, normally that background check for graduation is not required. I said, uh, I want to remind you, Kenny, when you volunteered out at the hospital, everybody else that volunteers at the hospital, background check takes about 72 hours. I said, yours took 30 days. I said, I'm, I'm not sure you're going to make graduation. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, he just, he lost all the blood in his head. <laughs> I thought his hat was going to fall off. And I, when he finally caught his breath, I said, Kenny, I'm just kidding you. I said, you'll be fine. I said, uh, I said, as a matter of fact, if you have any problem with your background check, have them call me. And I said, the first thing I'm going to tell them is, Kenny who? And, uh, <laughs> I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, we're looking for him too. I said, why you got him hold him? So anyway, that's where Kenny is today. And uh, I'm sure Kenny will get even with me sooner or later about I'm sure he will. Too. So I'm sure he will. He, uh, Kenny and I go way back, as you know, Ben, and we go back probably – 40, 45 years together. So. And it's, it's amazing you're still friends. <laughs> well, I'm often asked, I said, why do you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and work with Kenny? And I, I think for a few minutes, I said, look, here's the real reason. I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning not to work with Kenny, but to protect my reputation. Out here. <laughs> so if you're not here to protect yourself, you never know what he might say about you. So. Hey, again, yesterday, we had a great time visiting yeah. with you on the show and talking about things going on in, at the First Baptist Church in Davil. We'll talk about a few more things going on at First Baptist Church in Davil. But today, let's go ahead and do the uh, morning devotion. And it's great to share the morning devotion live with you. Well, it's great to be here with you and with uh, your, your folks today. Um, <clears throat> last night about 1130, my phone went off and I had a text message from uh, my uh, Alabama Law Enforcement Alliance for Peer Support group. Um, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Deputy was in a very serious automobile accident, 
and uh, had been rushed to UAB. And I, I'm waiting for re reports today to see how we, he did. But I was thinking about that this morning. This wasn't the, the, the thought that I had planned to do today. But one of the things that, that we need to understand is that we all go through these difficult times, these moments of grief. Um, and, and there's a passage, it's my favorite passage in, in the New Testament that deals with this. Jesus has uh, just told his disciples that he's going to be leaving them. And they're brokenhearted because they've given up three, three and a half years of their lives to be with them. They left their homes. They left their businesses uh, to, to follow him, just to, to follow him and, and, and be close to him and learn about him. And so, you know, they'd been thinking the rest of their lives they were going to be part of the kingdom that Jesus was bringing into the world. And, and they were just devastated. And Jesus, knowing this, looked into their hearts and he said these amazing words. You find them in John chapter 14. <clears throat> he said, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And here's the promise that I, I pull out of that, and that is no matter what you're going through today, whether it's, uh, it's grief at the loss of a loved one, whether it's your own grief as you're facing death, uh, you can trust in the fact as a child of God that he loves you so much that, that one day Jesus is going to come and he's going to take you by the hand and he's going to escort you into that, that place that he has prepared for you. And the great thing about that is he's been preparing that place now for 2,000 years and uh, you can't even begin to imagine what it's going to be like when uh, you get to go and, and be with him in that wonderful place. We call it heaven and, and I think it is uh, a great way to, to look at that. So I want to uh, pray not only for this uh, uh, sheriff's deputy in Montgomery County, but also for all who are watching today, all who are listening, that they would know the, the peace that comes from trusting in the fact that Jesus is right there with us. So, Father God, we thank you for the day you've given us. Thank you for this opportunity to be with Judge Mitchell and, and with the viewers here on the front porch. Thank you for Kenny and all that he means to so many people. Bless him as he travels home today. And, Father, we thank you for the fact that uh, we can trust in you. Be with this uh, Montgomery County Sheriff's Deputy and his family. God, uh, give them comfort and peace. Be with uh, all who are watching today. Let them know they can place their hand in yours and that you will take them home. Father, we thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers go out with the deputy as well. And uh, I'm I'm assuming it was just a, a traffic accident, not a... It was a serious traffic accident. Don't know any of the details yet. Hoping to find out something soon. But um, we we have a lot of folks praying for them. Peer support was on the ground with them as soon as it happened. So uh, we're very thankful for that. As, as you were talking about the Bible verse, my mind kind of wandered over to my childhood days of, of Bible school. And the Bible verse that I learned was the 23rd Psalm, where it says, Yea, though I walk through the shadow of death, fear... You know, fear no evil. The key there is I walk through the shadow of death. As long as I trust in God, I'm fine. That's right. And, and he'll, he'll move us through that shadow of death. Everybody goes through tough times. Absolutely. No we, matter, we all walk that valley at some right. point in our lives. But you're not there forever. No. It's, it's, it's temporary. That's so. exactly right. You said it so well, so very, very well. Hey, I want to ask you quickly about with graduation coming up in the next few weeks, Anything special going on at the church for uh, for your seniors? Yes, absolutely. Uh, on May 7th, we always do a graduation banquet for all of the, the graduates from Dadeville High School. Uh, this year, I think we got 74, 75. Uh, we provide, uh, we, we buy, buy a Bible for them that they will have with them. They can take with them to college, wherever they're going in life, because we want to make sure they have a copy of the Word of God, because that is the foundation that they can build their life on. Sure. We do a little yard sign that says congratulations with their names on it uh, as uh, Dadeville graduates. And then we have this wonderful uh, banquet where, where they come and we feed them and their families. And we have a special speaker, um, and I wish I could think of the guy's first name, but his, his last name is Forge. And uh, he's, a, he's a former Alabama uh, football player, had a, a tough life, 
but uh, is now uh, the CEO of one of these big water companies, and I can't think of the name of the water company. Uh, oh, man, uh, my wife's going to kill me for this. That's okay. But that's on May 7th, so we're going to honor them there, Baccalaureate, on May 19th. That's going to be a great time for uh, our kids uh, to hear from uh, a great speaker. And uh, then graduation, I think, is on the 22nd. Do you do the Baccalaureate at the church, or do they do it at the school? We, we, we did it at the church at our church last year. I thought I remembered that. Uh, I think we're going to rotate. It may be at another church this year. We're trying to work that out right now. We're trying to make sure everybody has an opportunity to, to host that. Uh, that's, that's a whole week of graduation for those seniors. And congratulations to all the seniors, not just the ones at Dable, but congratulations to all the seniors and to their parents for supporting them throughout the years. I love the idea of doing the banquet for the, the Dable graduates at the church and their families. Yes. That's a big undertaking and a great recognition for them. Yes, it is. My wife uh, <laughs> handles that uh, every year, and uh, she's got a lot of people that help her. And we uh, figure out a way to squeeze about 200 people into our fellowship hall. Uh, and so that's always exciting uh, to, to do that, but it's, it's, it's a great time. Well, I am forever amazed at what's going on at the church, uh, not just your weekly services, but, but the, the whole community ministry. It's, uh, it's encompassing to everyone in the community. Well, that's, that's what we believe. Um, you know, we call ourselves a family at First Baptist Church, and we, we feel like the whole community is part of our family. We want them to be a part of our family. And so we're open to everyone, and uh, anything we can do to minister, uh, we try to do it. Well, you guys do a great job. Hey, Ryan, I owe you an apology. I get to talking to Reverend Ben Hayes because I enjoy it. I enjoy his friendship, and I enjoy what he has to say. But I forgot to do the weather this morning. And the weather's going to go on whether I do it or not. Look at here. The high today is 65, just a very, very slight chance of rain. But there'll be sun on your shoulders today. You might even want a little sunblock today. So go out and enjoy it and have a great day today. And let's look at the rest of the week. Saturday, just a, don't even worry about the rain. High of 67. It's warmed up. It was going to be a whole lot cooler in the early mornings, but now it's 43. Sunday, we're looking at 75 and 56. It's warming up again. Monday, 75, high of 60. Chance of rain coming out uh, on Tuesday, 70% chance of rain. High of 73, low of 62. And on Wednesday, 60% chance of rain again. In the 70s, low of 61. Not a bad week. It's the springtime. Here are some folks who just absolutely love the weather, whether the sun's shining or whether it's raining. I'm talking about the Yerke family. Ellick City Marine, they can take care of the boat that you have in storage because pretty soon you're going to want to put it in the water and start having some fun. Go by and see the Yerke family. Call them today and make an appointment. If uh, they don't have your boat now, you need to take it down and let them fix it. Give them a call, 256-215-3474, Ellick City Marine, Cherokee Road. Reverend, here are some folks that you know about. They're doing the most good for the most people. We're talking about the Salvation Army, located on Highway 280 right here in Alexander City, easy to get to from wherever you're coming from. Give them a call if you need some special uh, stuff delivered or picked up. Call them at 256 215 3730. If you can't just uh, load it in your car, call them. They've got two men in a truck. They'll do it for free. The Salvation Army, Alexander City. In today's challenging world, our children need every advantage found in their education and spiritual formation. If you're looking for a school for your child or your grandchild where they will receive a great education, be in a small class, a safe place, a school where they're prayed for and with, a school where the Bible is integrated into the lessons, a school where they are encouraged and challenged not only in scholastics but also the Christian life, Veritas Lake Martin Christian School may be the place for you. Registration for the next school year has already begun with limited spaces. Call us at 256-537-5004. I'm Jimmy Gorey with Gorey's Furniture. We would like to invite you to come shop our huge selection of furniture. But if you don't have time, we have over 2,000 items you can have shipped directly to your home. Go to Gorey'sFurniture.com, look for 48 hour quick ship. Shop, click, ship, just that easy. You can shop us here or you can shop us online, only at Gorey's Furniture. Your express way to save me. 
At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Momentum Marine, Lake Martin's all-new marine dealership, is ready to kick off the boating season with the first annual full pool party. The event will be held Saturday, April 20th, 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Come meet the team and enjoy live music, craft beer, and pizza. We'll have drawings for tickets to see Kenny Chesney, Zach Brown, and Travis Tripp. While you're here, take a look at our extensive inventory of world-class boats, including Crest, Manitou, Centurion, Roballo, and Monterey. Come join the fun Saturday, April 20th at Momentum Marine, Lake Martin, located at Blue Creek Bridge, Dadeville. Lake Martin's new standard for sales and service. We look forward to meeting you. Serving East Central Alabama since 2005, we are Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical of Sylacauga. Coosa Valley Respiratory has medical equipment and supplies, including oxygen to home ventilation services. We carry a full line of bracing, power chairs, scooters, and more. And when you trust Coosa Valley Respiratory, you are dealing with local people that care about your well-being. Providing quality home care for our community, Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical, 201 West Fort Williams, Sylacauga. Give us a call at 256-245-1411. Henderson Towing, Alexander City, 24-hour towing, jump starts, door unlocks, local and long-distance towing, heavy-duty towing. So let's get old Big House to the rescue today. Here's that number. Now keep it handy. Henderson Towing, 256-392-4554, 256-392-4554. Henderson Towing, 24-hour towing, 256-392-4554. The Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, call 256-329-6736. Hey, welcome back to the Front Porch on our pre-recorded edition of the Friday Front Porch. It's, it was great to have Reverend Ben Hayes with us this morning as he did the morning devotion live. And now it is really a pleasure of mine to introduce a, a new member of the Lake Broadcasting team and an old, old friend of mine from Clay County, Alabama, Kevin Moon. Kevin, it is good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining me this morning. It's good to I be back to out here on the for, porch. I've wanted to do this for quite some time with you. Well, I tell you, the guy that's eating his it. heart out this morning when he found out you were going to be here, that's our good friend, Judge David Law. <laughs> He's a good one, ain't he? Judge and I, as, as most of our viewers know, are good, good friends. There is rarely a week goes by that uh, more than two days go by in a week that that David and I don't talk. I v mean, very similar. Uh, and, uh, and, um, and sometimes the only way he'll get off the phone is his wife will come in and say, you just, it's time for one of y'all to go to bed. Well, so, you know, and, and that's the thing. Me and him will get to talk, and, 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 and we'll just... It just continues, it doesn't just, it? It just rolls and rolls. It's just a, a good, natural conversation that we have. But I think the world of him, think the world of his wife, and 
Uh, he's got a, a, a beautiful family and just good folks. He's a great guy. I've got to tell you, though, and I don't think I've shared this with you. If I have, forgive me. I'm going to share it with you again. Bring it I, on. I met David many, many, many years ago. Okay. And have you ever seen the movie My Cousin Vinny? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah it, it's, been a, it's been a while, but yes, I have. David Law, the very first time I met him, and I'm telling you, we didn't know each other from, from anybody. I called him Vinny. He just reminds me of Vinny, on, of, of Joe Pesci on Joe that movie. Pesci. Yeah. I mean, and he got to the point where we would be in court, and he'd mess with me. He'd turn around and look at me, and it, it'd have nothing to do with what we were talking about, but he would pop his hands together and look at me and say, Your Honor, it is identical. <laughs> and, and nobody in the courtroom except he and I knew what he was talking about because it had nothing to do with any testimony we had. It had nothing to do with anything we were talking about. He just wanted to mess with me. I love it. I absolutely love it. So when you see him, call him Vinny. Well, now that I know, now that I know the backstory there, that's that's good stuff. That's good information to keep. <laughs> Actually, Greg Varner had a T-shirt made for him that says Vinny. That's great. That's great. And that's another one I like, too. I, I like love Greg Varner. Uh, Greg and Kelly and that whole bunch. Uh, nah. and they all, uh, they Kevin and I get folks. talking about folks in Clay County. I have deep, deep, deep roots in Clay County, Kevin. and uh, Actually, my grandfather, great-great-grandfather, was a blacksmith in Clay County. He, okay. He was a Caldwell. Okay, yeah. So I go way back in Clay County. Okay, you yeah, have got some roots yeah, over there. Yeah, deep roots in Clay County. Well, it's uh, certainly been home to me for a for a long time, but uh, I, I can I can say, uh, you know, we're we're, um, we're we're moving into that. Well, Alexander things are City. always changing, and uh, you'll love being in Alexander well, City. Well, Alexander City's been 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 great to me. It was home to me uh, s several several years ago. Uh, uh, we lived here, and they, you know, and and, and I, I've been here. I, I say all my life. You know, I've got a lot of family. Uh, d down here, and and uh, for me, it's just uh, it's it's like coming back home. I had Miss Jenny Wilder in in school at, at Jim Pearson, yeah. uh, sweetheart of a lady, and and um, just you know I've I've always I've always uh, felt like Alex City was home to me. So so being uh, being right back here, you're back and, at home again, and, and and being here at Lake Broadcast and being being part of of Kalaja Country 97.5 and B101, uh, the Mountain 95.1 here at WAXC TV, and I'm, I'm just I'm just proud to to be back and associated with the bunch. And I'm excited and with you here now, now, Kevin. If I get this wrong, please don't hesitate to correct me. But you are the uh, senior account executive or exec. You tell well, folks. You, you I, know, I, I didn't I, write it down, so it, obviously I don't remember it's it. It's a fancy title for uh, 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 just uh, what whatever needs to be done. I think. <laughs> but you know, um, I, I I told uh, I told Ryan yesterday. Ryan was helping me get. Now set Ryan up. is number one. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you if if with, with, without Ryan, I'd just be Kenny Dean. Cause, <laughs> cause, because I wouldn't know how to do anything. Um, he he helped me out so much yesterday. It it doesn't matter where where you go. A lot of the you know a lot of the broadcasting and radio stuff is the same, and we're using you know a lot of the same things. But sure. it's it's one of those situations where when you go to a a new place, you know things are just in a different drawer, and things are in a different place. So just finding those places, and he's helped me just basically uh, kind of recreate my own little production studio so I don't have to go in and, and dig in everybody else's drawer. I can just kind of have my own. Have your and, own space. And, and, and work there. <clears throat> so he's, he's been awesome to, to help me. Ryan, I appreciate you a bunch, man. I, I do. He's, he's been a big asset to me. And then, uh, of course, John and, and Robert and, and, and J.J. and Tracy. Now there's and there's I, I three there's three guys them. right there that are high energy. I can't uh, keep up with their energy. I don't match <laughs> it. I'm I'm a little bit slower paced. Than well, that. I I love all three of those guys you just talked about. But and I'm used to people talking. But when those three guys get together and start talking, oh, John's the only person I, I know. To interrupt yourself. <laughs> I'm exhausted just listening to them talk. 
He'll I mean, talk and, 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 and he'll he'll talk and and we, we'll ha we'll be having three different conversations at one time. Yes, sir. But his mind is always working. He's he's a it great is. guy to be around too. He's it, it is. He's, he, he's, he's funny. He's humorous. But he, he is. He's high energy. And he all keeps three me, of them are high he energy. He keeps me busy. Hey, I appreciate you letting me come out hey, and, and thank be on you. the show this thank morning. Thank you so I, much. I'm glad you. I want to take it as an opportunity to introduce yourself to the to the area again, and and welcome officially welcome you to the to the partnership. Well, you're doing you, a great job with it. I like broadcasting or the team, either word you want to use. It's, yeah, it's, it's just always been a, 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 a it's always been like home to me, anyways, and uh, and and to be to be here and and to be in Alex City. That's one of the things that that I will say that I'm looking forward to is just being being involved you know i've got a um you know four children and and and, and i want them to to grow this up is a great place for them to grow in a, up in a place where we we can be involved and, and let me tell you why it's so great it's right between coosa county and clay county Smack dab in the middle. You can't beat the you can't beat the, the location. sandwich, can you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So you know my love for Coos County, and I know your love for Clay County, and we both share love for for the entire region, the the Coosa, the Tallapoosa, and the, the Clay County. And you know, for me, just be, being in this you know East Central Alabama area, being in in radio and and and, and TV and broadcasting and. Uh, uh, online, you know, streaming and stuff like that, podcasts, and just being a part of, of broadcast. Now, I've, I've been able to work in different markets, and, and I, I worked with uh, Jim and Coleman Vice and Miss Kay and that bunch over at Eagle 1023, and we lived in Widawi for a little while, and that was a, you know, that was a, a, a great place for, for us, too, and that was just enjoyable. Uh, another place with a with a beautiful lake and yes, uh, a lot of <clears throat> great people and and uh, just a a place with a, a that truly has a lot of potential to continue growing over there too. I'm gonna carry you back. It, well, I'll carry you back when we come back. We'll be right back with Kevin Moon and we'll be back with much much more of the Friday Front Porch. Let me talk about, and you know about this as well as I do, Kevin, Lake Martin, Tallapoosa, tourism. Man, where the sun never sets and where the sunrises are always there. We're talking about tons of stuff to do in Tallapoosa County. And, Kevin, I know you've run into them already. We've got water. We've got hiking trails. We've got riding trails. We've got biking trails. Don't tell me there's nothing to do. In Tallapoosa County, thank you so much to Lake Martin Tallapoosa Tourism. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and social security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Central Alabama. This is our home. It's where we work, where we play, where we raise our families and grow old. And in the unfortunate event we become sick with cancer, thanks to UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center, this is where we heal also. We have invested in new technologies and expertise so that now we're able to treat all sorts of cancers and you never have to leave Tallapoosa County. UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center. Compassionate, convenient, collaborative cancer care right here at home. Farmers and Merchants Bank of Dadeville is building a foundation of strength and trust in the entire Lake Martin community. With our modern branch in Dadeville and caring attentive staff, we've established Farmers and Merchants Bank as a reliable friend to your banking needs. Whether it's just a savings or checking account or any commercial auto or real estate loan, Farmers has local decision making to build a relationship with you and your needs. Farmers and Merchants Community Bank. Strength. Service. Community. 
It's that time of the year again for the second annual Bradley Equipment Auction. April the 13th starts at 8.30. Now, you can go down there anytime beforehand and start checking out the trailers, the tractors, the trucks, all the equipment that's going to be on site. Live on site bidding will be going on the day of. Live internet bidding now. Get in touch with them today at 256 786 2763. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Trust Dixie Overhead Door to restore your garage door with a comprehensive tune-up. For a limited time, it's free for Dixie Cares Plan members and only $49.99 for others. Avoid a real-life nightmare and take care of the most important door in your home. Regular maintenance can reduce noises and potential breakdowns, extend the life of your opener, door, tracks, and springs, and quickly spruce up the space. Especially important if it's turned into your new man cave. Red Flag Pest Control is Central Alabama's best in pest control with hometown service in Lake Martin and now the greater Montgomery area. When you see pests, throw down the red flag. Termites, bed bugs, carpenter bees, mosquitoes, or general pests. Red Flag gets the job done at the right price for your home or business. At Lake Martin, call 888-943-0353 or at Montgomery, 334-265-1831. Red Flag, the best in pest control in Central Alabama. Hey, welcome back to the front porch. I'm out here with my good, good friend, Kevin Moon, or Kevin's out here with me. Either way you want to say it, we're having a good time, and we're glad you've joined us. Hey, Kevin, there's something going on at the Sportsplex you and I were talking about off the air, uh, and I think you probably got the real the real news about well, it. Well, now, look, uh, it don't matter, and I've said this uh, uh, several times, it, it doesn't matter how old you get. There's always going to be a part of you that gets excited when you see – a Ferris wheel, and it and it lit up. I love and, to ride a Ferris wheel. And, and just you, you know, and and thank you, Ryan. And I'll tell you, and, and that's the Ferris wheel. That's the the one that that when when I took that picture the other day, I, I actually got on there and and did a live Facebook Collage of Country ninety seven point five video, and did it live while the Ferris wheel was going. <laughs> it, uh, but is that post still up and folks can go is. see folks it? Folks can go look at it. And a uh, guy named Sean was over there working it, and he said, hop on here. Let's take you <laughs> for a ride. And, and I ain't going to turn down a Ferris wheel ride. Uh, it don't matter if it is in the daytime. But, I, you know, he, he got me up at the very top of that thing and stopped it, and I just had a, a great view. It would have been ideal if there had been a football game going on right over there at football field. You talk about a view, but it's a big week at the Charles E. Bailey Sportplex folks, James Gang Amusement, LLC, they brought all the fun rides, the Ferris wheels, the, the, the big slides, the, the loop-de-loops and, and whirly wheels and, and tilt-rolls and magic mirror <laughs> houses and, and all that stuff. Of course, those are not the real names of, of all the rides, but, I, of course, I, I don't know the names of all the rides, but... Um, you know, s small roller coaster things and just uh, certainly fun for the, the entire family. And the best part about it is if you just want to get out and walk over there, 
there's there's no admission for parking. Uh, there's there's or no charge for parking. There's no charge for admission. You can go over you can there, walk and around and walk enjoy around the, and the people enjoy and the enjoy the fellowship it. and shake hands and, and see. Well, that's, that's all where politicians like to go so that's, we shake hands. Hey, look, if 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 you in in the politics and business, uh, that <laughs> may be where you need to go here over the next few days because. Uh, uh, you know everything's kicked off, and they'll be doing this thing through the weekend, and uh, for Friday and Saturday, uh, you can ride unlimited rides for, for twenty dollars. I think it's. I, I don't know if they're doing tickets or wristbands, but usually, a lot of times that's a wristband situation, and uh, so uh, all weekend that's uh, twenty dollars. And now with with it being the uh, Friday, it's six to ten p.m. and then on. Uh, Saturday will be uh, you, you got three a good to memory. That's right, three to ten. Okay, for twenty yeah. bucks you get to ride everything you want to, Any, as many times. as You don't you have want to keep to. going back and asking Grandpa. Say, I need some more money. You don't. You no, just, you don't. Just no. give him twenty bucks and let him go. That'll that'll get him happy on uh, Friday and Saturday, and it's only fifteen dollars on Wednesday and Thursday. So, right. Yes. So, it, so uh, yeah, from six you know, to it, ten. And and. They eat you about three good funnel cakes and get on that thing that uh, swirls you around real fast. You'll have a good time. Hey, and listen, these guys are Alabama folks, as I understand. Kevin. They are. They're out of Andalusia, and and uh, Mr. Rodney over there, uh, re real real good folks, and and uh, I enjoyed just stopping and talking, and of course, <clears throat> like you and me, I mean, we can shoot the breeze with anybody. Anybody. But, and I know those folks from Andalusia. Those are good folks. And something else great about this, you're sitting there thinking, well, look, I go over and I give my kids 20 bucks, and they ride for three, four, five hours, and they have a good time. Then these guys pack up and take my money and leave town. Uh-uh. They're leaving part of your money right here. And what are they making donations to? You know, to? a portion of the proceeds actually going back to the city. To uh, they, There's some projects that, that they're working on, and, and I think one of those – uh, includes uh, a, a, a playground. The that's, imagination station, that's so right. So that's one of the things that uh, a portion of these proceeds are going back to. So you not only have a good time, it's, it's, it's good, clean fun, it's family-operated, family-owned, family-operated, it's safe, you do it for one money, and part of your money stays right here in Alexander City to help you continue to have fun out at the Sportsplex. So, it, you know, it's win, 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 win. It is, and of course they got all the games and stuff hey, like that. And talking about the sportsplex, also, Kevin, big big opening day on Saturday out there for the uh, ball field. It's opening up. Uh, the first, the only time of the year they'll charge you an admission. It's only five dollars, so you can go by and watch the uh, the opening games, the opening ceremonies of the uh, baseball. Then when uh, when the carnival opens up, you can just walk over to it and you can spend the whole day at the beautiful sportsplex. And, it's uh, a great sportsplex, and and you know certainly a place that I remember going as as a kid. Um, it, it's when it, they had the animals out there. Yes, I remember that. It's and beautiful out that's there. That's one of the things that, you know, I, 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 I tell I tell the kids when we went through there, uh, I, I don't remember. It's been, uh, what, what were we over there for? I'm trying to think. It was, uh, oh, it was back uh, in uh, October, and they were doing, uh, what's the event they do over there in the fall? At the Sportplex, yeah, and I, it's, it's I can't think of it to save big, my life. A big, it's a big it's event, a, and it's a true annual event. It is and an <laughs> annual event. They've done it. October, October Fest. Fest. Yeah, that was it. Thank you, Ryan. So, I uh, I, I think we were over there for October Fest, and I was telling the kids, I said, you know, I remember coming over here and there being animals and you know peacocks and all kinds yeah. of stuff that were over there. That buffalo and. And uh, all kind of stuff that uh, used to be over at the Sportplex. And, and I, I'll tell you this, too. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed as a, as a kid, and it, it was an annual thing for us, was at Christmas time we would ride through the Sportplex, and it was Enjoy the full lights and... of all the Christmas lights. And so many people would get in, involved with their businesses and, and set up different displays and stuff like that but i always thought that was a really cool thing you're talking about that it won't be long we'll be looking at christmas lights I, goodness gracious my it's... partner and i were talking about the lighting and, and we're talking about the sportsplex and uh, i don't know it'll be available this year but uh, i think i think 
if we could talk someone into coming over there and maybe doing carriage rides through the sports place. Oh, it'd be beautiful. As yeah. a matter of fact, I, I, you know, I take a lot of pride in being this guy, but and, and you probably you're, you're probably very similar. But I take a lot of pride in being that guy that just about knows somebody that does everything. Like I, I, I know a, I know a fella. When it when people are looking for something, in you know in particular, I, I probably know a fella that does it, and I know somebody that does carriage I, has a beautiful carriage, too. and um, and uh, as a matter of fact, I take a lot of pride in that because uh, even odd things like. Uh, when I meet people that do odd jobs, I know someone that travels around and is a mechanic on exercise equipment. Huh. I guess that would probably be the oddest job I've ever heard. But I know somebody that does it. And can can you imagine? And but here's another part: the you know being skilled enough to. Uh, to do it, Ryan could do that. He, he's one. Ryan's one of those people. Or I think I, I fully believe Ryan can do anything. I, Ryan, I, I haven't was, found anything Ryan can't. Well, do. I, Ryan, did you take a lot of stuff apart as a kid? I did. Okay, <laughs> I, you, I see. I, I just knew you were one of those people. Uh, but um, when we come back, we, we we can talk some more about it. But. Um, I'm, I, there, there's no telling what we'll talk about this morning. We, we're, we, we're this is the front porch. We're just going to sit here and visit all for a kind while. of rabbit trails, and you'll enjoy it with us. We'll be right back. Hey, Kevin, let's talk about this. Lake Martin, Davel Area Chamber of Commerce. We talk about a lot of Chamber of Commerce. This one is really progressive, and you need to be part of it. You need to call them today and say, look, I want to join the Lake Martin, Davel Area Chamber of Commerce so I can be part of a, a great place that we call home. Give them a call today, and I guarantee you, You'll be glad you did because you're going to meet some new friends that will last for a lifetime. The Lake Martin, Davil Area Chamber of Commerce, Davil, Alabama. King Honda Car World kicks off 2024 with an unbeatable selection of new Hondas. Available now for immediate delivery. Experience great products and incredible selection and fantastic prices on all of our new Honda inventory in stock. Our goal this month is to make it a month to remember by offering year-end deals at the start of the year. That way you get the best savings on any Honda in stock. Need to trade in your car? We're offering top dollar for quality trades, making your deal even better. Plus, this month only, enjoy free leather upgrades on all Honda Accord EX models. And we've got plenty in stock. Thank you for making 2023 our best year ever, and we're excited for an even better 2024. Thank you all for a great 2023. I welcome the opportunity to meet you in person at a Honda store well, I know our staff will take great care of you. We hope to see you soon. Visit our new facility at 2332 U.S. Highway 280 and start enjoying your new 2024 Honda this year. The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Passion. The obsession that burns within. Determination. The burning desire to make it. Drive. The motivation to be the absolute best. Skills. The tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence. The feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. 
Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes could be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Are you ready to plant this weekend? Here's a place you need to go. You need to load up, go down and see Kay, and just look at all the new uh, plants they've got. Whatever they've got will grow in your area, and she'll give you a smile that'll make it grow. Go by and see my good friends and your good friends at the Lake Martin Garden Shop on Highway 63 right here in Alexander City. Hey, it's welcome back to the front porch. You know, Every now and then you meet just a distinct person that you'll forever remember them, and you remember them by different things. Our next guest, as soon as he says hello, you'll never forget that voice. Good morning to Joseph Dean. Joseph, thanks for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you all for having See, me. What did I tell you? He's got the most remarkable voice. If he was an airline pilot, I'd feel comfortable when he says, welcome to, and we're going to have you there on time. I'm not going to steal your thunder. Why don't you tell our viewers what your big project is? Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you all you. for having thank me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, absolutely. So my name is Joseph Dean, and I um, am in the funeral industry, funeral business. You know, you hate to say that, but it kind of is one of those things. And uh, it's one of those things that, that you know, when, when, when folks do it well and, and in that time of need, uh, you want someone that, that you feel like you can talk to and comfortably talk to because there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts. When someone passes away, there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of That's obviously right. the, the beginning <clears throat> stages of, of, of grief. You're, you're, you're just learning to accept the, the loss of a loved one. And, and then obviously at that point in time, then you have to start thinking about uh, whether this person had, had made those arrangements and, and, and done Or even things. talked to their loved ones That's about right. what they wanted. It, I mean, people are so guarded. You know, death is such a taboo thing that people don't like to think about or talk about that a lot of times they don't even address it with their families what they want. So they don't it, know. It, Burial it, or cremation or... Well, you Arlington know, I, or Alex, you know, where, where well, they're going to you know, my at? background's government. There's two things I can tell you. You're going to pay taxes and you're going to die. That's, That's right. There's two things you're going to do. And and if you're real lucky, you might get out of paying taxes, but you are not going to get out of <laughs> dying. That's exactly so, right. And you got a big couple of big projects on the drawing I, board. I do. I do. So, and, and I own Frederick Dean Funeral Home in Opelika, which started out Frederick's funeral. It actually started out Frederick's Williams Furniture Company in 1900 in downtown Opelika. So 124 years ago, um, which is a long, long time, long history, long heritage, furniture companies became furnishing undertakers. And they said, okay, well, we're building 
beds, chest of drawers. We can build a coffin. Now, I'll use the term coffin for the time period because that's what it was. Now it's a casket, you know. It's, and there is a difference. There is a difference. Yeah. A, a coffin, coffin comes from the word sarcophagus, meaning man-shaped. So it's wider at the shoulders, narrower towards the waist and towards the feet. Or And you hear people call them toe squeezers. You know, that's a old-fashioned coffin. You know, it's skinny, like you see in the Western movies. Old pine box. Old pine box. Obviously, was, obviously Kevin, they didn't build it for me and you then. Well, wow. we got they got all sizes. They got a portly know, model, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Everything in America has gotten bigger, so caskets have, too. But, um, I just hope mine's comfortable. It, well, you know, it will be. You won't know the difference. Uh, well, it'll, they'll make you look comfortable in it. Yeah, you well, know? good. good. Um, but, yeah, so Frederick's has been in business since 1900. Um, in Opelika on Frederick Road, you know, it's it, they named the road after them. They've been in the location where we are for 71 years this year. Um, and I, um, I own a funeral home in Lynette, Alabama. It's called Valley Point, and I bought it about six months ago. But the big project that I'm excited to, to share with y'all. No, just continuing to expand. Well, you know, look, I, I'm 40 years old and. Time to go to work. Time, yeah, time to go to work. Uh, <laughs> I got a wife and three kids and, and I, I love what I do. I have a passion for it. I love people. You know, that's why I hated to use the word business when I said funeral business. It, it, to what you said a minute ago, it's the worst day of these people's lives. You know, someone that they love dearly has died, and, it, and it's catastrophic. I mean, it's awful. There but, has to be a passion, and, and there, there is a ministry in it as well. Oh, for sure. I don't think I'd be doing this. I, I thought I would be a lawyer. I, I went to Auburn, was majoring in economics to, to go to law school, and honestly, I, God just kind of led me in this direction. You probably I, made a good decision, too. Well, probably. <laughs> uh, probably. You know, the world's got enough lawyers. <laughs> but right. I, my wife's actually a lawyer. Um, and she practices in Opelika. Uh, Kim is her name. Okay. And so the about the expansion, I have purchased two church buildings in Tallapoosa County. I bought the Southview Church of Christ here in Alex City, just not far from here, uh, a little over a year ago. And I tell you, building and building projects is, is not for the faint of heart. I, I, I've gone through two contractors waiting on an architect to do a drawing. And I'm not knocking the architects and the builders. I know y'all are all busy. And this, you know, at the worst time possible where commercial construction is $300 a square foot. Yes, sir. So people can do simple math. You build a 5,000 square foot building at that, that's, you know, a million and a half dollars. That's a huge investment. So that's before you move any. Oh, that, yeah, that's it. just, yeah, yeah, that's it. And um, I mean, that's not a total, that's a starting point. That's right. Um, we have purchased these two buildings. These, these two will be the same brand, if you will, the same name of funeral home, and that's going to be Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation. Uh, you know, it's, I know we're in Alex City, I know that we're in Dadeville, but I tell you, the lake is, is a huge draw up here. I know, I don't have to tell anybody here that. Y'all know. Y'all y'all are probably like me. I grew up going to the lake. And, and it's it, such a staple that it covers the <clears throat> the area well. When you when you use that name, then people are instantly going to associate it with the area. They absolutely. They know exactly where you're going to be, at the, or at least the, the vicinity. So th that'll, be a, a, that'll be a good, obviously, a marketing point for you guys and, and being able to uh, use that for both of your absolutely your, your, your homes that are that are going to be so here. So your location in Alex City will be where again? So the location in Alex City is 2325 Dadeville Road. It is um, right, you know, between Chapman's Nursing Home and Radney Funeral Home. I, you know, I'm in the funeral profession. I don't mind mentioning them. They've been here a long time, okay. and, and that's to your point. Fredericks has been around 124 years. I, I know Radney's been here a long time. I don't know the exact year, but they've been here 100 years, I think, or longer. And and you know they do a great job. They're they're great folks. And you know you may not have a lot of people come on here and 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 build up their competitors, but you know I, they do a good job. They've been here a long time. We do a good job. We've been in Opelika a long time. I maybe it's because I majored in economics. I happen to believe, and, and again I'm going to use the term business. I don't, nothing makes business thrive like competition. That's right. So people want choices. They should have choices. And we are going to be able to afford people a choice. We know how to treat people. We know, you know, how to treat them during that time and, and, and how to do that delicately. And, and I've been doing that a long time. I've been doing it a long time. And, and I look forward very much to, 
to being in this community, being in the Dadeville community. I live in Opelika. I actually live in Lafette, is what my address is, in Chambers County. Uh, but between our all these locations, we will serve Lee, Chambers, and Tallapoosa counties, as well as the other counties on the other side of the lake. You bring up something there when you talk about whether it be competition within your, your own business there uh, in, in sales or or competition that's around you the the thing about doing business with people is being able to be relatable and being able to connect with your 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 customers in, in, in a time of need and obviously yeah there, there are options and it's good to have options um, because you know obviously we're all of you guys may, may be great guys. You're going to find, if you do your due diligence and you, 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 you do go speak and shop around, you're, I'm going to say that, you know, if you're looking for pricing, the pricing would be relatively competitive, but, you know, you're going to find people that you click with, and, that, and that's Sorry. what it's about. You're yeah, going people to... People you connect with. You're going to spend your, your money with the people that, that make you, you feel... Good, uh, 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 as good as you can feel in a time like that. So, you know, there there, there is nothing wrong with, with, you know, figuring it out. Meet, you know, yeah. meet with a couple of different people, do that. But but you guys are, are obviously uh, coming into this area, uh, new and and excited and and wanting well, you're to. You're no no real stranger to the area. You had on a, a facility in Camp Hill. Yeah, that's good. Let me touch on that for a minute. So yeah, in 2018, I bought Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers, which is 21927 U.S. Highway 280. I bought the funeral home, the cemetery and then the crematory that was there. And uh, that is right next to Langley on, on 280 in Camp Hill. That is really one reason we're, when we had a fire there. I mean, a, a total loss, catastrophic fire that was not because of the crematory. You know, I, people get gently led in that direction. I was just um, about that. But, you know, per the, the Department of Insurance Arson Investigation Unit, old Dalen Gassett, who's now the coroner in uh, Elmore County, I think. Right. He, he was the lead investigator, and that was, it was neat that it, we had him there for that because he's from a family of, I mean, his family owns Gassett Funeral Home in, in um, Wetopka. Yeah, that's right. Wetopka. And so he's, he's not a stranger to, you know, to those types of scenarios. And then, of course, when there's an insurance claim involved, they send their very fancy investigator out there, too, and, and did something called art mapping, which is crazy to me. The building's gone, and he's got wires showing me where it started. So these silver attic fans that are on the top of buildings mm -hmm. that spin, yeah. what happened is one of those, it was put in in 1995 when that building was built, one of those seized up, and, and I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to try to explain this, but prior, back then in 95, there was a, some difference in the way they do wiring that it had to be a higher voltage to trip a breaker. So this was was seized up, you know, shooting voltage and caught on fire. And uh, and we tried to put it out, called 911, of course. The volunteer fire departments that came did an excellent job of trying to put it out. Uh, but it just, you know, it wasn't meant to be. And that was a total loss there. And that is where, that's really why we we're, we're started this journey of coming back up here. Well, that I'm, was looking, the, I'm looking forward to your construction. You gotta promise me you'll come back and talk about it as progress goes well, on. Well, and so we're actually, when I leave here, we're going to paint in Dadeville. So I'm I'm glad I wish I could go. Well, you know, yeah. Hey, I, I we'll be right back with more of the front porch. Hey, Kevin, let me, uh, there's a lot of things going on over at Coons Corner this morning. And one of them we always talk about, they got a great breakfast. Then they've got the uh, lunch today. And today is Friday. I bet there is catfish on that menu. Fish Friday, buddy. What's on it, man? Fried catfish, chopped pork barbecue, loaded potatoes, broccoli, cheese, and rice, green beans, fried okra, whole kernel corn, macaroni and cheese, and Jerry Cobbler. Ooh, 
Absolutely, and they got catering too. If you got a special event, give them a call and they'll take care of that for you as well. 256 234 3557. This week and this week only at the Charles E. Bailey Sportplex in Alexander City, James Gang Amusement presents a great time for the entire family. Take a ride on the Ferris wheel, dare to ride the Scrambler, the Giant Fun Slide, and many other rides. A portion of the proceeds will benefit future projects in Alexander City. Admission and parking, absolutely free. Fun rides, exciting games, and awesome food. Charles E. Bailey Sportplex this Wednesday through Saturday. Presented by James Gang Amusement, LLC. And online at jamesgangamusement.com. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritunes, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last, Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20-mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? Well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this. It's public transportation. Their number to call is 256 329 84 44. Have you been to Sure Shot Outdoors lately? Owner Scott Watson invites you to come in and take a peek at everything they have to offer. Not only do they carry the products you need, whether you're a beginner or an experienced shooter, their experienced staff offers both knowledge and the service you deserve. They also carry apparel, grills, coolers, and much more. Come on in and browse Sure Shot Outdoors today, your one-stop shop for all things outdoors. Located on Highway 280 in Alex City. Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Grace is Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace is Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238, and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Tiny homes by Wind Creek now renting. Sleeping floor, full kitchen, private fishing pond, boat charging station, and pet friendly. Call today, 256-935-9337 or tinyhomesbywindcreek.com. Located in beautiful small town, USA, Alexander City, Alabama, on Highway 63 South. Turning into Wind Creek State Park, and there they sit, ready for you to sit on their front porch. Springtime means lawn and land time, and Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor is ready. With full lines of Mahindra tractors and implements, as well as tough and durable Spartan zero-turn mowers. Right now, get 0% financing on select Mahindra tractors with approved credit. And see all incentives on Spartan mowers. And best of all, Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor is trading for top dollar on everything. Cars, trailers, tractors, trucks, RVs, we pay cash on the spot and are ready for your business. Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor, Highway 280, Alex City. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need. And we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You got a friend. Good morning, and obituaries are brought to us today as they are every day at this time by Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. We have one obituary for today, visitation to celebrate the life of Miss Carolyn Coker Starnes, 
of Davil, Alabama would be held on Sunday, April the 7th at Radney Funeral Home from 2 p.m. until 3 p.m. Radney Funeral Home is in charge of those arraignments, and Radney Funeral Home is honored to have the opportunity to serve the Starnes family. To these families and to other families who have lost loved ones, our thoughts and our prayers go out to each and every one of you. To the brave men and women who are fighting for our freedom, God bless you and God bless the USA. We'll be right back. Hey, and look there, we're right back, just like that. <laughs> hey, it's good to have some great friends out here with us this morning. They're out early on a Friday morning, and there's a lot of good things going on at Russell Medical Center. Good morning to you, Melissa Edwards, and who is your driver over there? Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Barry Ingram. He, he is, is certainly no stranger to people in Tallapoose County. Good morning, folks. Good to, good to see I you. I love morning. that voice, too. I know. He's got one. Hat. That's a, uh, a, a resident top. voice. <laughs> <laughs> but we were just out here this morning. And you were just wandering there. by and came up on yeah, the porch with us this yes, morning. Yes, we did. And we just wanted to talk about a few things going on. Hey, let's talk about Kitty Dean because he volunteers. He talks about it. We're talking about volunteers right. at Russell yes, Medical Center. Yes, our volunteers and, at Russell and Medical. And Kenny loves it. And, uh, by the way, if you go to Doc's, and you tell them you want the Kenny Dean special, you get 10% off of your meal cost. And the cool thing is, Melissa, they've got a key that just is called the Kenny Dean key on the uh -huh. register now. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, Kenny Dean got his own key. he got his own key. How about yeah. that? He doesn't know what it goes to, but he got his own key. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, tell us everything about what's going on at Russell and with the volunteers. All righty, but first back to Kenny, he does he comes in and he does a super job and he helps. But he me talks all the time out there. But that's what I do too. I have a charge. Yeah, but member. you do it better than he does. <laughs> and he says, if I don't hear you talking, I know you're not there. And I was like, okay. But we do have some stuff coming up. Uh, next week, April 11th and 12th, will be our $5 jewelry sale. It's a fundraiser that we use to raise money for our scholarships and different things we have going on throughout the year. And it will be April 11th from 7 to 5 at the Hardy Community Room in the professional building adjacent to Russell Medical, Friday the 12th from 7 to 3. So we would love to see everybody out there and just come and support us at Russell Medical. Kenny October. says that's where he plans to do all of his Christmas shopping. <laughs> well, you tell him to come on. And it's at? not just jewelry. You'll be amazed at the uh, other items that you'll find there for five dollars some items may be more than five dollars but they are bargain items at, at that price so you're gonna get a deal no matter what you do no matter what yes. you get and you come out we'll be glad to talk to you we all love to talk there <laughs> and we, we'll try to uh, recruit volunteers for the auxiliary as well oh yes absolutely uh, i told the story uh, a little earlier this morning about Kenny going over to his grandson's graduation and he was concerned about his, uh, they had to do a background check before they allowed him to go into the graduation. And he had this flashback of the, the amount of time it took to get his background <laughs> check from his, his volunteer work. And I, I said, Kenny, you're probably in a lot of trouble, boy. <laughs> that was so funny because I I was texting him, and I was like, well, I'm still waiting on him, I'm still waiting on him. I said, but that doesn't mean anything. And he texted me one day. He said, well, has it come back yet? I said, no, well, but I think it's just back. Part of up. his anxiety was generated by me because I, every morning I'd come in and ask him, and I said, Kenny, this is not looking good. This is looking <laughs> real you bad. You already heard something. Yeah, I said, Kenny, this yes. is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> well, you got to him because they, <laughs> I think he was Well, he, he thoroughly enjoys volunteering, and you're looking for additional, always looking for oh, volunteers. absolutely. We would love to have more. At this point, we're at 65, and so we're hoping to get back to 100, which we did have at one point in time. Pre-COVID, yes. Okay. Yes, pre-COVID. And Monday, we had a celebration for our volunteers at Russell Medical. We had our appreciation luncheon. We had 1220 Cafe Cater. We had nice little gifts for them, and it was just a it lot of neat. fun. And if you're interested in volunteering and, and you're not sure what area you would be uh, working, uh, there are several areas and you can choose where your interests lie. Uh, for instance, the cancer center, you can work there. You can work in the ER, the front desk, the gift shop, 
uh, and uh, surgery waiting. Well, this is cool, so I can tell you where I want to work. Well, if there's some vacancies. If, if, if I have some vacancies. I, I want to work in Jim Peace's office. <laughs> well, you know, we might could arrange that. <laughs> if you want to do some uh, clerical. No, I want to do the. I want to do his job. I want to do. Yeah. I want to be his. Work. Yeah, I want to be his <laughs> assistant. I'll be his chief of staff. That I got. Yeah. I, I got experience in that. <laughs> no, so no joke. All kidding aside, it's a fabulous place to to volunteer, and I've yet to meet someone that volunteers out there that that are just not. They just love it. They do, and that's what I tell everybody. I've been in my position now almost two years. And when they asked me about it, I was like, I don't know if I can do my, this job justice, but I love it. Oh, and you I do a tell, great job. Well, thank you. And I tell the volunteers, they make my job easy because they are just, they're the best. And we just have a lot of fun, but we also do work. It's, and it's, it's rewarding. You get to see a lot of people that, uh, that you know. Uh, you get to see a lot of people that are struggling with issues and, uh, just being able to speak to them and help them out and, and uh, be a helping hand there for the hospital makes them comfortable, more comfortable. They're not there because they want to be honest. That's right. right. It's, it's, not, exactly. it's not, normally it's not their very best day. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, Barry, you, you, know, you know everybody from, from Richville to Camp Hill and in between. Yes. And so when people come in, they know they've got a friend that they know or you know something about. A lot of them, you've been in their homes, and you know them. I have through the years. Yeah, through yes, the years. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you built those relationships. Some of them you knew when they were born and they were growing up, and and so knew the parents and grandparents. That's right. Yes, family, which are great relationships. To as we get older, we really appreciate those. No and doubt. I still, and I know you do. I drive by homes, and I remember going in those homes and sitting yes. down and, oh. and visiting. I can remember, and I'm sure you've got those same stories. Dropping by during meal time, not intentionally, just drop by to see them, and they invite you to come on in and sit out the table. Just mention that. Yeah, yes. right. yeah. Go in and have supper. Uh, that's uh, right. Have supper. supper at a lot of houses during the campaign trail. That's right. Oh, and that is so sweet. And that's what I tell the volunteers a lot of times. You may be the first face they see when they walk in, and you make an impact on like them a, because you're there and you're listening to them and trying to have a good heart to just, absolutely. you know. But like in, 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 in all of them situations, all of a sudden it's an old friend. Mm -hmm. And and I'm in an, and I'm out of my comfort zone, yes. but now I've got somebody I can yes. talk to. That's somebody right. I could. And it calms you down sometimes to have a familiar face just to talk to, and listen to you, and just get you through that Absolutely. moment you're there. Or so. if, you know, maybe they are not like you and I. We're willing to walk up to a stranger and say, "Look, tell me where to go." They can walk up to you and say, "Hey, tell me, can tell me tell how me to get, where? tell me how to get to yeah. this place," because. You know, hospitals are a whole lot like government buildings. Every floor looks alike. Oh, they do. So they'll, they they'll really confuse do. you. I don't mean that in any other way than just the way it is. All so, of them do. Yeah. It's easy to get turned around and get lost. Yes, it is. That's right. In fact, the other day I had trouble on the elevator. Oh. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back with more of the front porch. Hey, let me talk about some real good friends. Look, I, I love to say this every time I, this graphic comes up. You see the sky above Forbes Auto Sales? It's blue. It's blue every time you look at it. Why is it blue? Because the Forbes's have owned and operated this business for over 50 years. Same location, same place on Highway 280 in Kellerton. It's home-owned, home-operated, hand-picked used cars, good parts, sales, and service. Why don't you just go by there today and tell them you're looking for a good, clean pickup truck? They got one on their lot. Forbes Auto Sales, Highway 280 in Kellerton. OGS Tournaments presents Crank for Bank. Win over $1.6 million in cash and prizes. Over 200 tag bass and 75 tag crappie are waiting to be caught by you in Lake Martin. 
Register now online at crankforbank.com for only $120. All ages are welcome. Fish from the dock boat or the shores of Lake Martin to win over 1.6 million in cash and prizes. It's Crank for Bank. For years, Tom Watley's been a name you can trust to represent you, and now you can depend on Tom Watley Law, LLC to handle all of your legal needs. Tom has over 20 years of practicing criminal defense, probate needs, and estate planning. Tom Watley Law supports the communities of Lee and Tallapoosa County and can handle all your legal needs or refer you to their network of specialty attorneys. When it counts, call Tom Watley Law, LLC at 334-559-3420 or online at TomWatleyLaw.org. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Medicare for Veterans, MedicareSalute.com. Medicare for Veterans, helping to maximize your VA, CHAMP VA, and TRICARE benefits. Call 256-675-5315 today. Ask for Amber Walker. Ask about Medicare, life, health, dental, and final expenses. Do that today. Call 256-675-5315. Inspired by the bold bison, Southern Union students blaze new trails every single day. They press forward knowing their SU education will lead them to success. Affordable, accessible, and locally unparalleled. Whether you're transitioning to a university or launching straight into a lucrative career, a degree from SU SEC can help you blaze your path. Three locations, dedicated faculty and staff, endless possibilities. It's all waiting for you at Southern Union. It's time to venture forward. Register today. If you haven't been to Big B Barbecue in Alex City, then you're missing the best barbecue around. Big B has everything from the best pulled or chopped pork, chicken, and beef to cheeseburgers and grilled chicken salads. Bring your friends and family out for a great dinner and sit outside on our beautiful patio or sit inside and enjoy your meal by the fireplace. So come in and join us and enjoy the best barbecue in the area only at Big B Barbecue, located on Highway 22 West in Alex City. There's only one clear choice in the Lake Martin area for plumbing, heating, and air. That's all clear plumbing and air. Our professionally trained technicians offer full service repair and installation on all major brands. From drips to water heaters, thermostats to entire air conditioning and heating systems and everything in between. Our fast, reliable, and guaranteed top-notch customer service will keep you informed and up to speed through the entire process. Call us today or look for us on Facebook and Instagram at All Clear Plumbing and Air, 256-496-2056. License number 19172. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the roads of Alabama calling. And Sarah Honda has your answer. Serving you for over 40 years with one of the largest Honda and pre-owned inventories in the state and the Sarah Promise. Our best deal when you buy or trade, a 72-hour exchange policy, a no-hassle trade-in promise. Written offers are good for seven days. And our best service promise. Our factory certified technicians help keep your vehicle running smoothly. That's why Alabama can be yours to discover in a new vehicle from Sarah Honda in Silicaga. Hey, we're talking about Russell Medical Center. You can't talk about Russell Medical Center without talking about volunteers and Doc's Cafe. Hey, volunteers get to eat, uh, they get free food, I think, at Doc's Cafe. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Breakfast is going on out there right now. And, Barry, what's going on for lunch today? If on Friday. If you love spaghetti, if you love fried chicken wings, then you need to be at Doc's Cafe. Corn on the cob, green beans, speckled butter beans, uh, Cape Cod vegetables, a salad bar, uh, the salad bar has, I think, 28 items uh, on that salad bar. 
and uh, loaded baked potato soup. The special bar is the cook's choice. Doc's Cafe, if you like good food, enjoy at Doc's Cafe. Man, I love that voice. That's why I want to hear it, because I just want to sit here and listen to you talk. You've He's got a great voice. I, oh, he does. And, and I remember sometimes I've, I've sit and listened to him MC some uh, beauty pageants, too, in years gone by. <laughs> that voice got me in trouble in school. I could not, I cannot whisper. I cannot I whisper. Can no. it, it seems like it carries well. Oh, it carries well. But, but I'm going to tell you, MC and the beauty pageant is... is is uh, you got the best job at the beauty pageant because being I, I, I had I say I had to be uh, I, I kind of had to be uh, when I was in a situation where I couldn't say no but they asked me to judge a, a, a beauty pageant a couple of times that's tough and that right there buddy that that that, that ain't a good place to be in. <laughs> It, it's hard. That's it is tough. hard yeah. to tell. It is hard to write down on a piece of paper, especially when you're looking at mamas and daddies and <laughs> grandmamas and granddaddies out there, and, 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 and you know. And they're looking at you too. Hey, but, and that's what you're doing. You're judging in a beauty contest on beauty. And how, how do you say that somebody's grandbaby's more beautiful than somebody else's? Beauty's else in the eye of the beholder. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, it's like just that. a. You, I'll tell you, you what, guys. Up, why don't we talk about uh, since. I gave it away a while ago. Do do volunteers really get free food? They yes. do. Yeah. They Good. Do. That takes we, the pressure off. I mean, I was worried there, Kevin. No, no. I thought they was going to send me a bill for everybody's no. food. No, now you're right. We do have several perks. So if you're interested in becoming a volunteer at Russell Medical, you can call Melissa Edwards at 256-329-7177, or you can email me at mEdwards at RussellMedCenter.com. And when you volunteer, the days you are there volunteering, you get up to a $7 meal free. And if you put in 16 hours volunteering per month, you can have free gym membership. Oh, let's see. And we have fun little activities we do. And we, you know, just have a good time, don't we, well, Mr. You, we do enjoy you it. Do we the, have a good time. Uh, do an annual event like you had last week to celebrate the... Uh, Yes, we have our appreciation luncheon every year in April, and we have the meal catered, and we have a special gift for them, and we have special entertainment. And this Monday's our entertainment was Kenny. Uh, well, I'm I wasn't gonna bring anything well, up about that. But I, I actually was gonna say that the new slogan for the volunteer campaign is "It's so easy, Kenny Dean can do it." <laughs> <laughs> Well, but he really does. He does a great job. Well, Everybody loves that. talking to him. Nobody talks to him. Down just get to to me. But look, I, I wasn't going to say anything about it, but you said Kenny was entertainment. The next, so you did that on Wednesday? Monday. Monday. Yes, okay, sir. so Tuesday morning I'm out here. Early Tuesday morning, before like 5 30. Kenny comes out here and I said, How'd it go yesterday? They didn't give me enough time. I know. I, I had said, to what? be the bad I person. I said, what are you talking about? He said, they wanted me to do an interview. He said, they did a great job. They set up a, 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 a set like yes. the front porch. But he said, they only gave me five minutes. He said, I can't do an interview in five minutes. I know I was up there. I said, if, if, if I said, gotta go. I said, Kenny, if you'd listen, you could do it in five minutes. <laughs> Kenny said, it takes me five minutes to get to my question. Uh, it, uh, it does out here. <laughs> it does. I, feel bad, I, I, I love him. I, Mabry oh. works for you. I love Mabry Cook. Mm -hmm. But but Mabry was doing his best out here the other day to keep Kenny focused. And Kenny Kenny was like a cat. He was all over the place. And Mabry <laughs> kept trying to bring him back in and. Maybe and I go back a long way, too. But so. that's how I am. I had, The first time I came on the show, you know, nervous, of course, but I had my... You're not nervous now, I know. No, no, uh, no. because I just come out here and talk now. But uh, I had my little script, you know, and I was going to go by, it, and I said, Kenny, we had done everything I need to. He said... Oh, we don't do that here. He said, we just go and talk. Uh, that's like, right. Okay. We just ad lib. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, knows, Kevin came out here. Kevin, Kevin knows what's hunting over a baited field. He came out here. If Kenny has one weakness, is caps. Oh. So Kevin shows up with a with a uh, uh, you know a cubic a box, yard box of hats, slam full oh, dear. of caps, and that's what we we we, we spent. Uh, I think we spent what Ryan. We spent about fifteen minutes just talking about them caps. We went through, just went through a, a whole slew of them right here on the show, and I let him pick it. It looked like National Signing Day out here. We had caps just all across here. But I actually came in my KD attire this morning. I wanted to make sure that he would be proud of me for matching 
My hat, uh, hat and, and my your vest. Yes. I noticed that and one. And you night. do match well. Well, I tried today. to. I tried to make sure that I, my cap and my and my outfit was going. Well, you you look a lot like Kenny Dean there, so I'm glad you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, right after this break. <laughs> Yeah, right after this break. <laughs> now, if you want to volunteer, it's not like 40-hour week job. Oh, absolutely not. It's not like a real job. No. <laughs> what you do is you can volunteer four hours. We have the a.m. and the p.m. A.m. is from 8 to 12. The afternoon would be 12 to 3.30 or 4-ish. And right now, we fully have volunteers that do the front desk and over at the cancer center. So, I mean, when you come in, you're going to see one of those sweet, sweet faces that comes and gives their time freely. But we ask that you do at least four hours every other week, but you're welcome to do as many as you want. Okay. But if you want the free gym membership, you have to do that. So I think it's awesome. I think I that whole too. volunteer, uh, I think that, that whole uh, situation. The whole program is the, just the, awesome. The, the, whole, the whole deal is the concept is, is a really, really solid concept where people can actively be involved in their local hospital. Absolutely. We have several volunteers that volunteer two or three times a week, mm -hmm. morning, one, one day, evening the next day. And I can see it being rewarding too. It to, is. That's to, to one of the too. big things everybody talks about how rewarding it is to get to come there and I've been out to other facilities. Oh I can tell you they love it. Hey and if you'll come out there early you can have your picture made with Barry and it's suitable <laughs> for framing. You can pick it up once the ride comes to a complete and full stop. Hey why don't you call Melissa Edwards today give them that number and you can volunteer to help Russell Medical Center. I'm gonna let Barry do my voice mail. 256-329-7177. You gonna let Barry do your voice? Yeah, I'm gonna let him let him let him record my my voicemail. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm his agent. Let me tell you what it'll cost you. All right, we'll be right back with more of the front porch. Absolutely, we're going to do something. We're going to do it at Cloud 9, too. Why don't you go by and look at their, their dresses, their gifts. they got things coming in every day. If you were there yesterday, go by today because they've got new items coming in every day. If you just need an advice for a, a gift for someone very special, they probably know those folks and know exactly what they'd like. Go by and see my friends at Cloud 9 today, downtown Alexander City. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and sitter services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. With the season coming in full swing, get all you need for summer at Lake Martin Mini Mall on Highway 63. Full plant nursery, lawn decorations, built-in outdoor kitchens, all big green egg products, furniture and home decor. Don't miss the next farmer's and artesian market with locally sourced products, art and food trucks with local cuisine. This year, get it all at Lake Martin Mini Mall. Music Depot, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is stocked and ready for you to visit. 
huge inventory of quality name drums, amps by Glaney and Fender, electric and acoustic guitars, pianos, fiddles, every accessory you need for yourself or band. Before you shop out of town, shop Music Depot on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Call 256-234-6767. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dadeville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Jesse Henderson, owner of Henderson Glass on Dable Road in Alexander City, says give them a call today for a price, 256-234-5464. They do auto, commercial, residential, showers, shower enclosures, mirrors, tabletops. It's all about glass, so I'm seeing clearly if you are. Again, that number to call is Henderson Glass, Dable Road, 256-234-5464. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon at Cornerstone Insurance. Are you tired of paying too much for your home and auto insurance? If so, give us the opportunity to help you. At Cornerstone, we have three goals for all of our clients. Asset protection, affordable pricing, and superior customer service. Come by and give us a call today to see what we can save you. 153 Alabama Street, 256-409-2299. Look at here, Kevin. We gonna have another beautiful day as we head into the weekend. The high today is 65. Don't worry about rain. Just forget about the three percent. Tonight's gonna be a little bit chilly. So if you're outside uh, doing a little grilling before the uh, you watch the ball game, you might go ahead and light up that heater out there and sit by the grill. That chance of rain really jumped up, didn't it? <laughs> it to sure. Four percent, didn't? It? That's right. And look there, 67 on Saturday, low of 43. Sunday, it begins to get a little bit warmer. Be the sun on your shoulder, 75, 56. 20% chance of rain on Monday, 75 and 60. Gets a little more uh, wet on Tuesday, 73 and 62. And then on Wednesday, 72 and 61 with a 60% chance of rain. Still a great forecast. You'll be able to walk in the woods and turkey hunt without being hurt. Weather brought to you by, can you say it, Kevin, like Kenny does? How's he saying? He says, Top Gun. <laughs> Brought to you by Top Gun Pest Control. Thank you guys for what y'all do. Hey, it's a great pleasure to have a new friend out here on the front porch. Porch? Where'd they come it's up easy with that? For you to say. Yeah. Chris Blankenship. Thanks for joining us, my friend. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. You drove up from Montgomery this morning? I did. I did. Drove up from Montgomery. Beautiful drive up here today. Boy, what a pretty day. We I ought to be too. out. We I ought to be out. From Montgomery too. We ought to be out turkey hunting today instead well, of uh, in, in the studio. Chris is with the uh, Department of Conservation, and uh, he, this is one of the good guys. He doesn't write you the tickets. Were you a game warden at one time? Or? I was. That's where I started my career in 1994 as a game warden down in South Alabama, down in Mobile County. Uh, you friends. probably know my buddy Jinx. Yeah, I do. Oh, Jinx. He, he, he's a good fella now. Jinx and I talked uh, hunter safety together many, many years ago. Many years ago. He's done a good job teaching hunter safety and keeping people safe and uh, so they can get out and hunt and enjoy themselves and not have 
uh, any accidents and get back home to their loved ones. We, those hunter education guys are, are uh, and, and gals are, are do great work for us. If I remember correctly, Jinx is from Greenville, from Butler, Butler County, if I think Greenville, Alabama. I think that's what his home. And he's also a pilot. Mm -hmm. he and I, that's right. He and I love, have a love for an airplane. Hey, the governor's office did something yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Wasn't it? That uh, you don't hear out of politics often. They did a turkey hunt. That's right. So we have the uh, governor's one-shot turkey hunt we do every couple of years, and it's a fundraiser for our conservation foundation, where we um, where we fund all of our programs like the hunters helping the hungry, the uh, youth dove and duck hunts, the uh, becoming an outdoors woman program, the adult mentored hunting, and then we also have scholarships to Alabama and Auburn uh, that we we uh, fund through that fundraiser. But the biggest part of it is uh, using outdoor recreation, uh, in, in this form, turkey hunting. And we get a bunch of CEOs and people from um, companies that are looking to do business in Alabama, you know, to exp or expand their businesses here, uh, to come in and turkey hunt. And they spend a couple of days uh, at somebody's hunting camp and um, uh, just showing them what the quality of life is here in Alabama. Hey, and if they want to invest somewhere, Alabama ought to be the place they do it. Hey, and, Chris, uh, how do I get on that list of bringing them to <laughs> Alabama? We got a little place in Coos County I'd love for you to bring them oh, to. Oh, yeah. A little, little place called Five Star. Yeah, that is nice. I was at Five Star last week. It's a beautiful place over there. And, and uh, I tell you, the, it, the uh, event is great. You know, we had 60, 64 hunters, I think. Uh, some of those were Fantastic. sponsors and some were, uh, you know. It, uh, Where did economic. you hold it, by the way? I was curious. Sure. So we hold it in a bunch of different places around the state. We, we headquartered out of uh, the Marriott in Prattville's where we have the, okay. the social with the governor and the kick the kickoff thing on Monday night and the awards yesterday. But in between that, they leave Prattville and they go stay in somebody's camp. Uh, Truly, y'all didn't take Governor Ivy turkey hunting, did yeah, you? Yeah, we, we, we asked her if she wanted to go, and she she had her schedule was full the uh, last couple of days. She couldn't <laughs> oh, squeeze that uh, in. Okay, I, I, I was told, just trying to picture that camouflage yeah. uh, pants suit, you know. She told them Monday night to kick off if they didn't shoot enough long beards, and she was going to do it next time. Uh, <laughs> and show, them how, show them how it's done. But no no <laughs> step too high for a high step. That's right. That's right. That's right. So 60 what did you say, 64 yeah, participants? We did. That's and, awesome. And, uh, so they stayed in different places all around Okay, so you Alabama. disperse them then to different and, uh, and So we had people venues. hunting all the way up towards Tuscaloosa and even up close to Jasper and then down in Barber County. But most of them were kind of clustered around Union Springs and up here around Lake Martin okay. uh, with some camps up here. And, and saw some nice turkeys brought in yesterday to be weighed and measured and a lot of success. But more importantly, there was a lot of good uh, conversation and networking that took place. And, and uh, hopefully we'll see some economic development announcements come out of that in the next few months on uh, relationships that were built because as you know uh, relationships is what makes it all that makes man. it all and, happen and, uh, through the you and i talked about relationships off the air people we know some of the same people we know hey i got to ask you this because you're out here we've got a state park right here almost in 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 shooting range of where mm -hmm. we are uh, the, I keep hearing rumors about renovations. Can you share some secrets with us? Sure, sure. We, so we just finished some uh, water line restoration work out there, replacing valves. You know, most of our parks were built 40, 50, 60 years ago and uh, needed some upgrades. And so the first thing we did out there was, you know, we, we were having some water line breaks and problems. And so working with the Alabama Department of Environmental Management, we got a, a grant through them to do some uh, water upgrades. So now that we've got that done and tore the roads all up, uh, now we, we're fixing to expand the campground. Uh, we, we've already bid that and the construction should start uh, later this month, the 1st of May, uh, redoing several sections in the campground up to 50 amp service and, and really making them Whoa. super nice like the what they call the Hollywood section, the one section that was renovated you know, eight or ten years ago. And so the, the rest of the campground is going to be in that same shape. And we're adding cottages out there. We've never had. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's uh, fabulous. So we're going to build uh, five cottages, three-bedroom, three-bath cottages uh, at the park that we'll have to be able to rent. And uh, and those are going to be, be so popular. nice. And I, I understand from our park manager out there, we got a couple of new pontoon boats at the marina to rent. We, we, we bought four new boats a couple of years ago. Those have been uh, wildly popular and stay rented so much that we uh, got a couple more this year and, and uh, just got those oh, out the park. So. I love that idea. So if if you want to enjoy the lake, you can come rent the boat. You don't have to bring one or you don't, right. have you don't have to own one. You don't have to own And that's the thing. You know, people that, that let's say for me, first of all, I'd have to, it, buying a boat at this point in time in my life, I, I, don't, I don't have a place to put it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have really necessarily the, the, the time to, to, to put in to, to dedicate and really 
owning the boat mm -hmm. and, and going as much as I would like to. So the fact that that I know that I can just go out there and, and rent one, that's I think that's fantastic. But you it? still need that vessel endorsement, don't you? Yeah, you, you got to have your vessel that. license. Well, on a rental boat, you don't really have to. And there's an exception for that. For I, didn't, I wasn't that. aware of that. It, but as like, a judge, I wasn't aware of but that. But you're like me. I, uh, I got a, uh, I grew up down in South Mobile County. Like I said, I got still got a house on Dolphin Island, mm -hmm. and uh, we keep, I keep my boat down there on a trailer. And I was going to trailer that thing back and forth, you know, from uh, fish a little bit at Dolphin Island. Mm -hmm. and, and I love it on the lake up here. It's been so so, so nice. And I got to figure what it was going to cost me to uh, drag that boat up here from Dolphin Island and uh, all the trouble that goes with it. Oh, I yeah. said I come out way cheaper the four or five times a summer I can do it to go out to the mar to the marina at Wind Creek State Park, rent that boat for the day. Rent you I'm, a boat, rent you a cabin. Yeah, I'm saving me a bunch of money by doing that. <laughs> and and have a, a good, good time, time, too. And I carry it back to them, and I uh, fill it up with gas and give them the keys back, and they take care of everything else. And you don't have to uh, wash the you boat. You walk and away and go everything. home. Me That's too, right. and I don't have to pay insurance on it. That's and, right. And, and, and you just make plans to... Rent you a boat. You always got one out there. I uh, owned a, a 24 foot swing kill sailboat one time. <laughs> loved it. I loved to sail, but it made me happy a few times. But the happiest was the day I bought it and the day I sold that's it. Right. At so. sail, sailboats, people that have them love them. But for me, that's just too slow. I like to go. Go, go, go. And, and I, I bet if I had me a sailboat and uh, slowed down a little bit, I sure would, it would probably make it a lot. I enjoyed the sailboat. I, I think, you know, the, just the water in general. I, I like water. I don't care if it's a creek bank. I don't care if it's a, uh, a pond. Uh, I don't look at the lake, the, the beach. It doesn't matter to me. I, uh, the, there's something very relaxing about a body of water. It is. We, we, uh, like I said, when the Governor Ivy appointed me in 2017 and moved from Mobile up to Montgomery, um, and we live in, in, in town there in Montgomery, and my wife said, next time we move somewhere, we're going to have a water feature. I said, a water feature? She said, yeah, we're either going to live on the lake or down on the, on the water somewhere or get a pool. She said, we just got to have some water. We're, we're, we both grew up on Dolphin Island, so we're mm -hmm. Coastal people. Are uh, used to, you to put me up there that. in Montgomery with no water uh, around. That's why I come up to Lake Martin pretty regular because you got to hey, get out. I can make you even somewhere. a better deal than that. We've got Lake Martin in Coosa County. Coosa County is a short drive to your office in Montgomery. Yep, that's right. So, that's right. <laughs> actually, I go go back to the Forestry Commission back when Tim Boyce was down there. We go way back. That's probably mm. way before you were, you were around. Hey, we started out talking about the governor's turkey hunt. Uh, turkey hunting's going on right now all across the state of Alabama. And how it, long is that lasting? So it, it, it came in uh, March 25th is when it opened for most of the state. The, there's a couple places in North Alabama that open uh, April 1st, and it goes through that first um, first weekend in, uh, in May. I think it closed like the 8th, somewhere around in there. And um, you know, But I've seen some people that uh, have had great success with turkey hunting so far this season. I've had some other folks I've talked to that Hadn't had much success. Uh, it kind of depends on where they are. And for, for you as a as a as a turkey hunter, is is there a do you have like a uh, a, a certain type of a uh, bird that you you haven't gotten yet that's still on your list to to get, or have you you gotten them all? Or I just got those, uh, you know, just the one here in Alabama, the eastern turkey. But I've seen, uh, you know, some folks that get those uh, turkeys out in New Mexico. Yeah. And the, the ones they have down in Mexico, they, man, those are. Some exotic, beautiful, beautiful looking big birds. birds. I'd like to go down there and, and, uh, and hunt one of those one of these days. That would be fun. Hey, don't go away. We'll be back turkey hunting in just a few minutes with the front porch. Hey, let me tell you about a place rich in history. Kevin, if you haven't been to the Mitchell House located in downtown Dable, you need to load up and go down there. To remember the first thing, Kevin, is named after Mitchell. And Mitchell also, Chris, has uh, connections back to what we talked about a while ago, Five Star Plantation. We're all making a big circle with the Mitchell House. You need to make a big circle around the Mitchell House in Dable for your next big event. Call them today and book that event, 256 Three zero seven one two two five, downtown Dadeville. 
Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton, and they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation is coming soon to the corner of 280 and 49 North in Dayton. This new 10,000 square foot facility is conveniently located to serve the residents of the Lake Martin area and its many communities. A branch of Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory in Opelika, Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation looks forward to serving your families and your communities as we have since 1900 at Frederick Dean. 256-750-0381. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. This week and this week only at the Charles E. Bailey Sportplex in Alexander City, James Gang Amusement presents a great time for the entire family. Take a ride on the Ferris wheel, dare to ride the Scrambler, the Giant Fun Slide, and many other rides. A portion of the proceeds will benefit future projects in Alexander City. Admission and parking, absolutely free. Fun rides, exciting games, and awesome food. Charles E. Bailey Sportplex this Wednesday through Saturday. Presented by James Gang Amusement, LLC. And online at jamesgangamusement.com. Thunderbolt Light Footed Oscars Cafe on Highway 49 South in Dayville, Alabama is looking to see you today. Now let me tell you, they got great food. They've always had great food all these years. Now they still got that atmosphere. They still got that service. They still cater. Let me stop right there. 15 to 415 they can handle. It. So give them a call today at Oscars Highway 49 South in Dayville. 256-825-48. With numerous industrial sites across the area, first-class workforce development initiatives, and a business-friendly climate, Tallapoosa and Coosa counties have just what your company needs to be successful. To find out more, visit LakeMartinEDA.com or call 256-215-4404 to speak to Executive Director Denise Walls. Let us make it work for you. Call 256-215-4404. Good morning. Welcome back to the Front Porch on our pre-recorded Friday morning edition. I hope you're having a great Friday morning and hope you're looking forward to a great, great weekend. Maybe you're going to get in a little turkey hunting this weekend. Chris Blankenship with the Department of Conservation is with us this morning. Chris, as I understand it, if I don't shoot a turkey, at least beginning today, I can shoot the decoy. <laughs> That's right. So, we, you know, in order to uh, try and let those uh, dominant birds breed in the first part of the season, our advisory board uh, passed something a couple of years ago that just made we couldn't use decoys those first 10 days just to give uh, the turkeys a little bit better chance there at the beginning of the season. But starting, uh, you know, after at the 10 days of the season, which is uh, the, the fourth, you can start using, and start decoys, using decoys again. And, uh, 
and uh, we'll, we'll see how that. I don't know if it makes that much difference or not, but I think for a lot of folks, it makes it sure makes them feel better that they got a decoy out there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but it gives me a little more, little little something else to do is to drag the decoys out there and then have yeah, to drag them back. That's right. I guess. But anyway, you know the thing about turkey hunters that I've noticed is they're. They're very. I mean, they they they, they take it. They love it, and mm -hmm. they take it very seriously. They have a great time with. But they're turkey hunters are dedicated people. Oh, they are. I man, this time of year for the month of April, there's a bunch of those turkey hunters that go every day if they can before they go to work. You know, they or save up their vacation, mm -hmm. and um, so they don't get much sleep. They get up at four o'clock and hunt, turkey hunt every morning, and then go to work. And and uh, they, and, that's, and they, I by, mean, they by May they're grouchy, grouchy, <laughs> <laughs> and they talk it and and talking about you know different calls and stuff like that. Um, I, I've always been fascinated. I, I obviously, I, now I love guns, but obviously not a, a turkey hunter. Mm -hmm. um, but but I've often said that if I if I did get into some type of hunting, that I I think turkey hunting would be one Man, that I would enjoy. If you want to see what hunting does for the economy, you go to the National Wild Turkey Federation oh, show yeah. in February <clears throat> up at the uh, Ga uh, Gaylord Opryland Hotel mm -hmm. up there in the convention center. Man, you get on that floor and it's far as you can see there's companies that's making turkey calls uh camouflage you know, everything that you need to hunt not just turkeys but deer and uh, fail, uh quail and pheasant and everything else but maybe just hundreds and hundreds of small businesses up there selling that stuff and making making a good living out of it and what well, do you uh, prefer like a, a box call or a do you is yeah, there a specific I, i'm not too good at it put yeah, in mouth? i'm not too good at it so I, the box call works good for me now i've got a friend uh, chuck sykes our wildlife freshwater fisheries mm -hmm. director and he got those mouth calls and i mean he sounds he sounds better than a live turkey well i've got an idea terry and i think we need to talk to kenny about it i think we ought to have a, a, a morning show where we we get some contestants to come on, and, and I think we ought to have a turkey call. That's a good idea. I'd like live on the show well, one morning. Well, I brought you a turkey call from the governor's one shot. Uh, Did you really? Well, a call from, thank the, you. from the governor uh, up, up here with me this morning. Y'all can sit here on the show and play it and uh, practice That's all awesome. you want. I tell you, being from, from Clay County, yes. you had a world champion turkey caller from Clay County, uh, uh, Billy McCoy. Billy McCoy. Yeah. Billy McCoy. Uh, Billy was probably the best I ever seen. Well, I, you know that's a that's a very popular name among, you know, the the area, the the state, and, yeah. and a lot a lot of folks in Turkey. Well, that's what makes turkey hunting so fun to me. Uh, you know, you're out there; it's interactive. You know, for deer season, I love to deer hunt, but you're in a stand, or you're you know sitting there and just waiting on the deer to come through, or you know, whatever. A little with, more skill with quail or or pheasants. You know, you, you you got the dogs. I love to watch the dogs I do and too. watch I them love work. The quail. I like. The, I like to watch the dogs well, better than I do shooting the quail. I do too. But uh, but turkey hunting is interactive. You're you're calling and he's answering, and you're trying to to draw Lure him in. in. And it's uh, that's why I like it. It's it just the skill of it and the excitement well, of trying to. But you guys to, were right about the dedication a while ago. You brought back a memory. The probate judge in Monroe County, uh, Greg. I won't call his last name because you everybody will know him anyway. I run into to Greg uh, probably six or eight years ago. Uh, about this time, a little later than this time. Year. Anyway, I went to shake hands down. with Greg. His hand was the size of that box right there. <laughs> I said, Judge, what in the world happened to you? He says, Turkey, honey. I said, Judge, what happened to you? He said, I got into, you talking about dedication? Yes. He said, I got into the woods before daylight. He said, I kind of made me a little place there to sit down. And he said, I thought I thought a briar had hit me when I sat down. He said, it was dark. He said, when the sun come up, he said, there was a rattlesnake. Oh, laying yeah. next to me, and the rattlesnake had bit me. You're kidding. Oh. And I said, well, did you get up and leave? He said, no, I don't a big bird. <laughs> he actually yeah, stayed there. With his hands swelling up? With his hands swelling up and had to walk like two and a half miles back to his truck when yeah. he finally decided, you know, I better go get this thing checked. Right. He wow. said the doctor told him, said, if you'd waited another 30 minutes, he said, we'd uh, we'd call the governor to appoint yeah. somebody to replace you. Wow, mm. that's that's. That's crazy. I mean, that's that's too much dedication. That's a lot of it, but I, I'll tell you, folks are dedicated to it, and and uh, I guess that, uh, that that keeps you guys busy, and well, it, and, uh, and 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 you get to you well, get it's, to be it's, part of something. It's that you, huge business for the, the the state too. Right, and you get to be part of something that that you enjoy doing. I do. I I love it, and and, and we're talking about uh, a little bit of habitat 
work that people do. You know, where the, yes, their, their success of their turkey season, a lot of private land depends on how much preparation they put in. You know, you can't just show up out there and decide you're going to turkey hunt and have a bunch of turkeys. Well, you know? it's like, it's no different you, than playing in the garden. That's you right. Yeah, you can't you, just think you want you got to You got to do some burning on your property, you know, and uh, some of that prescribed fire and do a predator control, uh, you know, trapping uh, raccoons and coyotes and uh, bobcats, you know, doing keeping yeah. those predators down that eat the turkey eggs or, or the uh, little turkeys when they when they grow when they're born. If you don't, uh, uh, you know, after, after those turkeys hatch, those predators are unbelievable at finding them, and um, and so that it, it cuts down on the amount of turkeys you got on the property. And so I get calls from folks a lot of times that you know they'll complain about their turkey season. I said, now, do you do any predator control? Do you do any trapping? No. I said, well, that's why you don't have turkeys. That's why you don't have uh, Boy, and it's a solid bird, too. If you don't believe me, hit one with a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, there's not enough time to cover everything I want to talk about and Kevin wants to talk about with you. I hope you'll come back to the front porch, and, and especially when you're up at, uh, and keep us abreast of what's going on at uh, Wind Creek State yes, sir. Park. When you're up at Five Star, please let me know. And when you see my buddy Horace Horn, tell him I said hello. I sure will. Well. Do a whole show. We Chris. really appreciate you coming out this one. You're a pleasure to chat with. Hey, we'll be right back to wrap up Friday's show. Hey, look at here. What's going on at What's Curve Market? Everything's going on. Right now, they're enjoying breakfast. Later on today, you can go by and pick up those sandwiches, those soups, those everything you want for lunch will be there. You'll be ready to go. Go by and pick up that sandwich and go enjoy the great outdoors of Alabama. What Curve Market were, what's cooking in the morning, are morning bites and midday delights. Go by and see them on Dable Road. GlennSmith.com, the great shopping experience you'll get at our dealership online. GlennSmith.com, brand new Chevrolets, brand new GMCs. GlennSmith.com, compare pre-owned models side by side. GlennSmith.com, get your best price every day and see everything we offer at your convenience 24-7. GlennSmith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika, Alabama. Get ready to smile at GlennSmith.com. Hi, my name is Nancy Spiegel, and I'm a relatively new member at First Baptist Dable. I moved here about 18 months ago, not knowing anyone, and found my faith family right here at First Baptist. Excellent preaching, the music is marvelous. So come join us here at First Baptist. Carlisle Heat and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Dable, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Summertime is a special time. Time on the water, time away from work, and more time with family and friends. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAV Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heartrussell. Zaxby's has been perfecting chicken fingers for 30 years. And now we're going to the sea. Shrimp butterflied and fried to perfection. And a perfect blend of Zax sauce and cocktail sauce called Zax Tail Sauce. The perfect southern fried shrimp meal. Woo, saucy. Zaxby's. Zaxby's has been perfecting chicken fingers for 30 years. And now we're going to the sea. Shrimp butterflied and fried to perfection. 
and a perfect blend of Zach sauce and cocktail sauce called Zach's Tail Sauce. The perfect southern fried shrimp meal. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. While in Davidville, Alabama, get off the roundabout and stop in Payne Furniture. Donald Payne says right now the selection of couches with end tables is unbelievable. Comfortable bedding, rustic bedding, area rug selection like he's never had, beautiful dining tables, modern and rustic. Ask him about financing. Or if you want to call him, call him at 256-825-7727. That's Payne's Furniture in downtown Dayville. Tapley Appliance is now Presley Appliance and Furniture. It's all the same friendly staff. And Mike and Trevor Presley not only offer the best in appliances from Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag, but now we offer full lines of furniture from Ashley, as well as a great selection of outdoor furniture. Make sure to visit the Presley family at the all-new Presley Appliance and Furniture on Cherokee Road in Alex City. Same great service and appliances, now with a great selection of furniture for home and outdoor. Good gracious. Welcome back to the front porch as we wrap up today's show, wrap up the week's show. The show always goes fast. It's just like sitting on your front porch just chatting. Things go fast. Chris, great to have you out here with us. Please come back to the front porch. You've always got a standing invitation. we got fishing coming up. If I don't have my license, can I get them online? You can. Get them online, OutdoorAlabama.com. And I said, we got, we're so blessed in Alabama with what we, in the springtime, with fishing, hunting, uh, getting out and hiking the trails and staying at our state parks. We got stuff in Alabama other states folks only dream of. Get out and enjoy it. We got so spring. much fun stuff, dude. It makes it tough to work, doesn't it? It does. Hey, have a great weekend. Be kind to someone. It's the right thing to do. We'll see you Monday morning. <laughs> 